Before Meghan Markle, Prince Harry's love life was a carousel of romance, including his two-year relationship with Cressida Bonus, a match adored by the royal family. Yet, behind the aristocratic allure and royal approval lay quiet evenings of takeaways and Netflix, glum realities that underscored their unstary connection. Was Cressida truly the one that got away, or did her departure foretell Harry's path toward Meghan and his eventual royal rupture? Long before Harry's whirlwind romance with Meghan Markle captivated the world, his relationship with actress and model Cressida Bonus was a royal affair steeped in potential. Introduced by Princess Eugenie at a music festival in 2012, the pair appeared to be a perfect match. With her aristocratic lineage and artistic flair, Cressida seamlessly blended into Harry's world. She accompanied him to Sandringham for shooting weekends, joined him on sun-soaked holidays to Botswana, and endured the infamous Africa Test, a hallmark of Harry's serious relationships. Cressida's effortless charm, athletic background, and Grace won her favor with the royal family, with Prince Charles reportedly referring to her as the one that got away. However, the public narrative of glamour and romance starkly contrasted with their private life. According to royal expert Tina Brown, their date nights were far from regal. Harry and Cressida often found themselves holed up in Nottingham Cottage, munching on takeaways and binging Netflix. The modest setting, complete with low ceilings and a bachelor pad vibe, was a world away from the splendor one might expect from Princess Diana's son. For Cressida, who craved a more ordinary kind of romance, sharing quiet dinners and holding hands, Harry's aversion to public displays of affection became a growing issue. The pressures of Harry's royal fame further strained their bond. His hatred of the media, fueled by a lifetime of invasive scrutiny, men avoiding photographers at all costs. Cressida, on the other hand, struggled to reconcile Harry's reclusiveness with her own desires for a more spontaneous, open relationship. Friends observed that Harry's temperament was becoming increasingly volatile, with the prince even turning to boxing as a coping mechanism. Cressida's own concerns about the spotlight deepened after witnessing the relentless scrutiny faced by William and Kate during royal tours. Despite encouraging Harry to seek therapy, on the advice of MI6, no less, it was too late to salvage their relationship. In his memoir Spare, Harry reflected on their breakup after a skiing trip to Kazakhstan in 2014. He admitted their relationship was defined by massive affection but lacked the enduring love they both needed. The split was marked by tears and gratitude, with Harry crediting Cressida for helping him confront his grief over Princess Diana's death for the first time. He wrote her a heartfelt letter of thanks, acknowledging her pivotal role in his journey toward emotional healing. Despite their parting, Cressida maintained ties with the royals, attending Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018 and remaining close to Princess Eugenie. Cressida moved on gracefully, marrying property investor Harry Wentworth Stanley in 2020. The couple welcomed the son, Wilbur, through IVF, honoring family ties with his middle name. Today, she leads a contented life away from the royal spotlight, occasionally making appearances at high-profile weddings or strolling through London with her child. Meanwhile, in the wake of Megxit and Harry's estrangement from the firm, some royal insiders wistfully wonder what might have been if Cressida had stayed. Cressida Bonus's relationship with Prince Harry was one of love, growth, and inevitable challenges. While their story ended with mutual respect rather than lasting romance, it set the stage for Harry's journey towards self-discovery and, ultimately, his life with Meghan Markle. For Cressida, stepping away from the royal orbit proved a blessing, allowing her to forge her own happiness. In a tale of what-ifs, their chapter remains a poignant reminder of the complexities of love and duty within the royal realm.